Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Hey, welcome to One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. What are you seeking? going to do collective reading for today, March 28th, 2024. This is a timeless reading for whatever you are watching. Okay, I am going to draw a few cards to see what the topic is going to be. And these are going to be two card spreads that I'm going to do pick a pile as well. So let's see how it comes out here. Okay, so I'm going to pick one card for each pile and you're going to pick your pile from that card which is going to be your topic and then after that it will be two card spread for your reading So for pile number one, we have the Seven of Cups. Pile number two, the Page of Swords. And pile number three, the Two of Swords. Okay, so... For the Seven of Cups, looks like you have some choices to be made here on which door to open. You have a decision that needs to be made, needs to be illuminated. Okay, the Page of Swords. It looks like You'll be traveling, maybe. Okay. You have your protection. You have your map. And for the third pile, we have the Two of Swords. Looks like you also have a decision to be made. And you are blindly making this. So you need to follow your intuition. So, 
Let's go with pile number one. Okay. okay. What decision do you need to make right now that needs to be illuminated? Something that you have tucked away for safekeeping. You know, sometimes you put something in a safe spot so that you won't lose it and then you can't remember where you put it. So here you are trying to find it, trying to remember where it has been hidden for safekeeping. Split the deck here. Okay, so we have the King of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. I see that we are progressing. We went from a seven to a nine. All right, maybe you've locked away your emotions. You look like you're a little bit angry about this. You're in turbulent water. But you are staying afloat to hold your position. Maybe um, Feel like somebody's trying to take something away from you and you're trying to hold your ground so you're a little angry about this you have these cards in your hand um these could be tarot cards these could be poker cards but we have six eight cards he's holding so it's not a typical poker hand Something about manifesting infinity, your money, maybe you hid some money and you can't remember where you left it. You, you're out, you're lost your control. You have no control here on which way you are going. You're out, you're out in the sea here. Floating around, floating around in your emotions. You're not even looking at the cards here. You are looking past the cards. As if you were playing poker, you're looking at other people's uh, reactions. Are they, are they a good liar when playing poker? Do they have some sort of a tick that you can tell when they're lying? or if they have a good hand, you're making the move, you're strategizing which move to make. You're on your chessboard here. This is a game. The stakes might be high due to what the pot is, what the prize is, if it's a lot of money. Okay. 
and you want to win that money, So you're walking on this chessboard here, making your move. You have messages coming in. This could be your intuition. This is about new beginnings, spring. You have all the elements. Earth, wind, fire, water, spirit. You're growing something. You're in a beautiful garden. This is definitely about which choice to make, which way to go, who's really in control here. You're seeking help. You do see that Others need to be involved in this in order for you to find your way, in order for you to win. There's a collaboration. You need to tap into your higher spirit, your intuition to navigate this so that you know which door to open. Uh, this reminds me of like um, armoire in your closet where you would keep your, your clothes. Maybe you buried your bunny in the garden. You didn't even put it in your closet like you thought you did. You need to come out of the closet, out into the world. Okay, go with the flow. Stop stressing on it. Although she does not look very stressed here. She just looks excited about finding these new items, finding old items that have been lost. I feel like maybe this could be some sort of an inheritance that somebody else hid some money in a closet and you're trying to find it. And you're asking them, you know, this person may have passed uh, maybe they're just away, but you're asking them spiritually, intuitively, where is it? Light the way. Help me to see this more clearly. Right? You definitely need some guidance here. Need the wisdom. This is about tangible things, spirituality. Definitely feel like you have to make a strategy in order to make this money.
So what is your strategy gonna be? Looking to others to see what their intentions are, to see what kind of information they may have that can help you along your journey. And help you grow, help you build something, help you grow something, help you start a garden, help you find your way. Maybe you're traveling somewhere else, but you don't really have control over this. Something else has happened that is making you move. This is very emotional. to unlock your emotions, unlock the hidden truth, to help guide you. Because you don't have control. This is something that is faded. It's something that is divinely guided. me of like somebody looking at your resume like if you're you're looking for a job this person is looking at all the cards that you you have that you that is holding this is your resume these are the cards of your life and every step that you've had to go and go through and they're looking at you like okay what are you all about but you have all these different cabinets here. You're not just one thing, right? You have these eight cards here. You have a lot of different flowers growing here. A lot of different things that you're learning over time. This didn't happen overnight. What is your strategy going to be? Which door are you going to pick here? Like, are you going to choose fear? Are you going to choose something that's a little bit more interesting? Do you have a castle here? Are you building something? You know, we have a head in here. Is this like a, a mother figure giving you advice? Ancestor? It looks like there's like cakes in there. You know, um, in Alice in Wonderland when she eats something I believe she shrinks. I can't remember if she grows or if she shrinks. So if she drinks the potion. Or eats the mushroom. She's either going to grow or she's going to shrink. All right, so what puts you in your power
is what, how you're going to decide whether or not you're going to eat the mushroom or if you're going to drink the potion. Right, because this is very large and in charge. And then she feels a little bit smaller here in this really large garden because flowers aren't typically bigger than the person. So you have to make the decision on what's going to serve your best interest. Rebels Oracle. All right, so we have 32, which is five, which is changes, and it says faith. She is vulnerable here with birds again, helping her to guide the way. She's an old red wagon. Reminds me of childhood, the innocence. She's praying, she's very vulnerable. It's a faith in the process, right? Listen to your birdies, listen to your birdies, what they're telling you. Okay, and then 18, nine, wisdom. So we have a nine again. Spirals of manifestation, right? You're manifesting something. You're trying to conjure it up. Where is it? Bring it to me. We have pentacles, tangible things. Spirituality. This is about wisdom, wisdom to make the change. Oh, forgot to take the directions out of this one again. <laughs> I might actually pull it, let's see. Right, there we go, here are the directions. I rock out to knock my blocks out. When you get stuck at a creative roadblock, move your sexy body and get your juices flowing. Creating motion in your body releases emotional blocks that may halt your progress. Blast your favorite music and wiggle those booty cheeks. Bust out your neon headband and yoga mat and stretch out your meat suit. Jump your partner's bones and get your boogie on. When you rock the fuck out, you knock your creative blocks out. Shake, rattle, and roll. All right, so we have our creative blocks, our rogue blocks here. Making the decision. Get your sexy body moving, right? The motion of the ocean. It's not the size of the boat. It's the motion of the ocean. All right, get out in nature here. Get moving. Yeah, start dancing. Sounds like we're going back to the 80s here with our knee on headband and yoga mat. Stretch. You know, play with your partner. You know, release some tension. Release the tension. Just go with the flow. Don't stress out too much on which decision that you need to make here. Stretch it out. I 
I consciously connect with my meals one bite at a time. Sharing a meal was once a sacred ritual for all living creatures. Though we still depend on food for survival, much of the developed world has forgotten the sacredness of the meal thanks to the easy access to the busyness of life. What if you slowed down, closed your eyes, and dedicated all your senses to each bite of a meal? What is the aroma, texture, and flavor? Where did this food come from? What sacrifice, cultivation, and transportation occurred for this food to end up in your belly, providing you with energy and new life force? Every meal should be a Thanksgiving. I love this card. I get this card quite often. But this is really about slowing down not having the control, right? You're slowing it down. Close your eyes to make this decision here. All right, we're praying here. Sit with family. We did say that you're in a collaboration here. Maybe these are your ancestors. This is your family. Sit down and enjoy your family, the ritual of living creatures. With each bite, like I was saying, if she eats the mushroom or she drinks the potion, is going to take you one way or the other. When you take that bite, really think about how it ended up in your mouth what had to live and grow and die in order for your body to be nurtured. We have growth here in the garden. What are you growing in your garden? You know, when you, you have a job, it puts food on the table for your family. Right? So you have to make the conscious decision, the strategy of how are you going to put this food on the table to nourish your body, to release old emotions, to get tangible goods. You know, what are you eating? Is it super processed food that's not good for your body? Not good for your soul? Or is it straight from the farm? And you know what these animals are eating and how they're being treated, whether they have diseases or not. Maybe this is making your decision to better health. should always stop and think about this food that you're putting in your mouth so that you get the energy and the force, life force that you want to be thankful. Shine the light on the ingredients. What is in there? Because if you don't do that, you don't have a lot of control. Listen to your body. What is it telling you? What is it you need? What are the steps that you need to take in order to get to what you want? what you're trying to manifest. And have faith. And 
rock out to knock my blocks out. Maybe she's dancing here. Enjoy the process. This is a game. This is fun. Okay, this is about being in that childhood mindset but having the wisdom to know what your next move is okay pile number two I feel like you are traveling somewhere. You are protected. You have your map. You have figured out which direction you want to go. You have a plan. You are prepared for this journey. Okay, we have the King of Wands and the Seven of Swords. So let me straighten out a little here. All right, so we have some information coming in. The King of Wands, he Seems like a funny guy. This is like the grandpa or the uncle or the father who's always funny. Always telling dad jokes, always doing tricks, trying to entertain. I mean, even the way he is dressed, very creative and artistic and fun. This is about fast movement, some information that you have, something that you've learned, right? Learned how to balance. This is like a, a snake, but it has like leaves on it. And it's being balanced on his nose. You follow your nose. You know, even rabbits, they smell things, their little noses bouncing. We're out in the middle of rock formations with this big fancy tufted chair. Call those wing backs or something like that. Right? Which, well, back in the day when they created these chairs, it was about keeping the warmth in, setting these in front of a fireplace. And because it has these wings on either side, it's kind of holding that heat in for you. This is about comfort and warmth. even if you're out in the middle of nowhere. Very desert-like atmosphere. Reminds me of like, if you had a really good childhood and a father figure of some sort, 
was always very entertaining and comforting and warm to you. Maybe you're trying to come back to this person because you are protected. Maybe they have taught you a lot about life, about having fun, not taking life so seriously, right? Because we have the seven of swords here where you have a thief, somebody who is stealing something, but we have all these hearts. We have these tents with little heart flags. Maybe somebody is stealing your heart. He does have something in his pocket here. Maybe this is that bread or mushroom in order for you to grow. You have grown up. Somebody has stolen your heart. You are traveling with this person. You are moving away from your family. Or maybe this person is like your father. We tend to find partners that are familiar. So if you had a really good loving father figure or grandfather or just someone in your life who had taught you a lot about love and life, laughter, this person is going to be imitating that and continue to bring you that joy leaving your village, packing up. There are challenges here. Because we do have the swords. But he's also, he's dropping all these little cakes or breads and leaving a trail yeah, so that maybe he can find his way back or it's leading you to this person. This person could also be somebody who is deceitful and making you feel like they are like your father figure here they're really not. They're just stealing something from you. Not just your heart, but the items that you have. In this case, the swords. You might be stealing the bread as well. They could be pulling you away from love because this is the village of love. But you can always find your way back because there's this trail. Maybe you have learned this and you are protecting yourself from this thief and you want to get back home. And this reminds me of bread, right? So you break bread with family and friends. Maybe this person is not really your friend. You were just pretending to be because they're distracting you with all this trickery. Let me 
have two, inner trust. You have to trust yourself to know, to know the difference of this person is good or bad for you. This is about unity, right? Unity and love, two. 26 is an eight. This is infinity. This is manifestation. Relax the hold of darkness and be at cause. Relax the hold of darkness and be at cause. This is about, um, you know, having the inner trust. Release the darkness. You are protected here. You are growing. You are learning. You're infinitely learning. You're very vulnerable because you want love. And you don't expect somebody to steal from you. Right? You thought this person was genuine. But they are holding the darkness. So you need to release it. Surround yourself in the light. Right? Come back to yourself. Come back home. This is divinely guided. I think this needs to happen in order for you to move forward and to grow. And if something has been cut down here, she is in lieu of the tree that used to be here. She is basically the tree, the pillar, surrounded by this light. Stand strong. Trust yourself. I am a contagious fireball of laughter and joy everywhere I go. <laughs> right? This is the king of wands right here. Having a good time. This human experience should be full of smiles of laughter. Our laughter to work ratio needs attention. Besides the tickle monster, one way to pull out the funk is to push yourself into a self-contagious laugh. Stand up with your hands on your hips and force yourself to start laughing. It will feel awkward because you aren't happy and nothing is funny. But the obnoxious fake laugh will domino into a rampage of contagious real laughs. When you start laughing more, the lighthearted energy transforms to those around you and increases the beauty of their moods too. Each day, if you can make one person smile or laugh so hard that they tinkle in their undies, your day is not wasted. All right? This is about having fun, laughing. Don't let this hard work of moving tear you down. Keep this warmth and comfort. Right? I feel like this is forcing yourself to laugh here, to become free. Ooh. All right, and we got a jumper. I rage up Mount Crushmore 24-7, 365. 
When you party with Humpty Dumpty and you slip off the wall, don't fret because we all take big falls. Every ascending airplane will eventually land so it can fuel up and take off again. Every significant summit starts deep in a valley and it can take weeks to hit the next peak. But if you keep your chinny chin up and move forward proudly, you'll beast up Mount Crush more faster than you think. Right? So you're gonna beat this. This person who's deceiving you, you know, you're moving through these valleys here, you're in this valley, you're in this valley here. You know, this is the way you learn is to make mistakes, right? You fall for the wrong person sometimes in order for the next person to come along and give you this laughter and joy. But you have to trust yourself. You have to have balance. You need to keep moving forward. It may take a little while. It's not instantaneous that you learn these. You have to go through the journey and experience it. even if you have to force it to make it happen. This is about the lessons that you need to learn in order to have happiness. And we have pile number three. This is about making a decision. And you are blinded. So it's about using your intuition. Right? And here we have the, the cat in the moon. He's always trying to trick you. Right? So maybe there's some outside force in the universe that is telling you that you should go one way or another, but these signs are actually switched, right? Because they're tricking you. And so when you do make this decision blindly, you're gonna be going the wrong way. It needs to be illuminated. You're sitting on a bench on the beach, which just seems a little out of place. And these signs are out of place. Typically when you're on the beach, you don't see benches and you don't see signs. So there is a challenge here. And there's something that needs to be balanced out. Interesting. Okay, we've gotten these cards before, not necessarily together. We might have had them together and they were switched on another reading. So we have the magician. Somebody's playing tricks on you. Like I said, there's tricks happening here. You're blind. You're in the smoke. But you have your tools. You have all your tools. You have the pentacles, the wands, the swords, the cups. You have everything. But this is an illusion. You have your mushrooms here. Which is a psychedelic. Making you see things that aren't really there. And then we have the Four of Cups, where you are sad about these three cups that you've lost. But we have the dolphin in the back who is holding it up. 
So you still have a cup here. Somebody's helping to save you from this blindness, helping to guide you. The magician is Virgo energy, about being perfect, being a perfectionist. Maybe you need to let go of making everything perfect. A little bit of chaos. You have a lot of chaos going on here. It's perfectly fine. You just need to balance it out. Four is about foundations. And the cups are about your emotions. You need to ground your emotions in order to make the right decision because you are doing this blindly. And if you're in this state of illusion, You're going to have a harder time making a decision. You know, maybe you need to lay off the drugs. Right? So that you can open your eyes and see what's right behind you. Because what's in front of you seems like a lot of loss because you're not able to see these are challenges okay you're all over the place you're fast you're slow you're being challenged you need to take action your emotions are all over the place you're holding on to something too tightly. So here you are in the middle of the ocean, sitting on a rock, pouting, feeling sorry for yourself. You can literally just reach down right here and grab these cups. They, they're not sinking. It looks like they're floating. But if you don't do it soon, you don't make that decision soon, they will sink. Maybe this dolphin's going to help you out here. All right, maybe that one already sunk. And the dolphin went and got it for you. Right? He's even holding it up like it's a trophy. Maybe you are having some sort of sobriety. And this is your sobriety trophy, but you keep falling off the wagon. And you're disappointing yourself because of these decisions that you're making, which aren't real. Like this is a whole illusion here. This is an illusion. Maybe you need to get away from others who are influencing you in a negative way and leading you in the wrong direction. They've benched you here in this beach. What happens when the tide comes in? High tide, you're going to be buried underwater. You're gonna get all wet, right? High tide, you're in the water now. You're still sitting here, this is not the same bench. Looks like it might've been overturned. You need to start making some better decisions. Start seeing things for what they really are. 
get away from the influences that are not helping you to grow. Mm -hmm. Okay. 31, trust yourself. This is about foundation again. All right, we have a lot of critters here. Pretty much any critter you can think of in the world is here and it is part of her. Be very wary. You're being very wary. Your eyes are kind of darting and looking every which way here. Kind of like in shock. Right? Maybe you're hallucinating all of this. But you need to learn how to trust yourself. To build a better foundation. Okay, it seems like there are a lot of people here as animals, maybe a lot of support you have. Woo. Got a flipper. You have a lot of support here that's looking out for you. And you're just kind of like out in the jungle here. You've got your face paint on to be camouflaged like a warrior, like a football player, it feels like. To reduce the reflection and the glare. Okay, you need to have some freedom here. Oops. And we have 21, beyond the mind, the heart beats. It's a three, it's about creativity. You need to get creative. Start thinking beyond the mind, right? These two cards are very mystical. We got like the DNA strand here. We have the, the universe. We have um, some robin eggs in a nest here. We have some shells, falling leaves, S uh, sprockets, looks like sprockets. Things that gears that get things moving. Huh? Go with the flow. Looks like these pearls even have like a, a consolation in there. Right? Maybe your mind is taking over because you have these hallucinations. But you need to take care of your body. and go towards what is truly in your heart. Because being blinded and feeling this energy all the time is not part of you, who you wanna be. You wanna have this freedom. Freeing the mind, trusting yourself. You can't really trust yourself if you're all fucked up on hallucinogens. Because you don't know what's real and what's not real. Science. Nature. Those things are real. Okay, I release all that I owe with my abundance mojo. We've got coins inside of this plant. When you're cruising through the Depp Gremlin neighborhood, remember that you will make it out if you keep your wheels whirling. Depth and abundance can either help or hinder you, depending on how you use them. Depth can kickstart abundant businesses and abundant businesses can fold into depth. 
Both are extensions of your energy. To fill your life with more abundance, release your attachments to your debts. Repeat, I release all my debt, which no longer serves my growth. I allow abundance to flow into my life to support my growth. Put emotions and specifically into your requests. This triggers your subconscious brain to make decisions that will beat down all the debt gremlin mofos and juice your money mojo. Right, so your debt might be this, this um, substance abuse, which is keeping you back from supporting your growth, from making money, from being abundant in life. So you gotta keep your wheels whirling. I store in my body that which I seek. If you've lost your marbles, have you checked your pockets? Texting everyone in your phone about how shitty you feel after pounding margaritas with your BFF. Black out Becky. Will only escalate the pity party for you and the unfortunate recipient of your complaints. Instead of channeling negative vibes to your peeps you love, slow down and focus on the support that you already have. Right? Your support here support like the fresh glass of hydrating water the magic detox filter in your liver or the hot rubber ducky bubble bath in your near future when you take a ride on the pound town complain train you never end up where you want to go you just might find the marbles if you look inside your heart right so this is that substance abuse again, right? You feel shitty and you're complaining about it and you're bringing everybody else down. This, this dolphin is super happy back here, but you're bringing everybody down because you're in this fog. Okay, but you have support. Detox yourself. Look inside your heart. What do you really want? And make that change. Okay. Well, that is your readings for today. I thank you for being here. hope that you found this helpful and I hope that you make the right decisions for happiness in your life. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.